Good morning, guys. We are back out in Panama City Beach today. We are hitting the jetty again. Uh, a little bit different today. Got live shrimp. Got a couple different rigs. So we've got light winds. Oh, southeast. Uh, it's really pleasant today. Uh, the water looks great. So hopefully the fish are biting. So uh, let's get out there and catch some big fish. So I spent the first hour tossing live shrimp on about the first third of the jetty for mangroves and I had zero luck. So I decided to move further out on the jetty. Catch any mangroves? Mangroves, I don't use bait, I don't use bait, I use jigs, so I don't catch mangroves. Oh, okay. Yeah, swim, live bait, I catch mangroves. Yep. You had any luck yet? Oh, nice. Okay, guys, he's over here catching flounder. So we're going to switch to uh, fish bites. I don't have any of the uh, curly tails, but I do have the paddle tail. So we're going to start put a jig head on and start bouncing that off the bottom. I always like to stretch these fish bites before I put them on gives them a little more action there we go Hey, there we go. Are you keeping fish? Yeah. You want them? I don't know if he's legal or not, but... 14? Okay. Yes, sir. Hold on one second. All right, guys caught a flounder bouncing the fish bites off the bottom so uh, we're gonna keep doing that I saw this gentleman here hammering the flounder down there so I thought I'd give it a try hey, what? yep here you go yep Two cast, two fish. He's a little bigger. Well, maybe. All right. Flounder number two. They like these fish bites. Yeah. Oh, fish bites? Yeah. Have you used those? No, never you, but I saw it. Don't bite me. All right getting a little worn so what I'm gonna do he's not staying on the hook so I'm just cutting the end off a little bit makes them a little shorter but you get a new bite so it'll hold again there you go oops I put them on upside down I don't think it's gonna matter though these flounders are so hungry I'm not even going to cast that far because these guys are hitting it right up by the rocks. Just twitch, twitch, pause. I believe that's an eighth ounce jig head I'm using. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that. That's nice, man. That's a good one. 
I didn't I was just coming out here to make a video and wasn't planning on catching flounder. Yeah. Oh, this nice one. Oh boy. Michelle's gonna be mad. She loves flounder. I didn't bring anything to keep fish with. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be in trouble. Well, this is a perfect example of, I came out here with live shrimp expecting to target mangroves. You just adapt to whatever's biting. Got another one. All right. That's another one. Look how pretty these guys are. Look at this. He's a little guy, but still pretty. Look how pretty that is. I think he's going to be short. Whoa. Whoops. He's going to be raccoon food now. So I'm just sitting here. I'm talking on the phone to my wife. Uh, I was taking a little bit of a break, yeah. letting her know what's going on, when all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something. Uh, he actually startled me, and uh, I was like, why didn't you warn me? And he said, well, I had something in my mouth, so I couldn't talk. So, I mean, to me, this seemed really uh, unsafe uh, to be going along there, snorkeling and scuba diving. And uh, although I know that well, fishermen don't own the jetty and other people use it for other uses, uh, there is such thing as common courtesy. And I did not feel like this guy was practicing any of it. So I just decided not to make an issue of it. I let it slide. And then he comes back the other direction a few minutes later. Doesn't even surface to warn me. He's just swimming along underneath. So I just start beating the water with my rod just to let him know. I'm fishing there. He just kept going, didn't do anything. So later on, oh, I called man. the FWC and asked them what's the legalities of all of this. And they said he was no, not scuba man. diving legally He's since he did not right have a flag up. And, and I told him he walked diving. in from the beach into the water. They said it doesn't matter. You still have to have a flag up. to be legal. Uh, they also said he was breaking a cardinal safety rule of never scuba diving by yourself. So let me know if this has happened to you or what you would do if you were presented with the same situation. All right, let's go down the end, see if we can catch a few mangroves before we pack up. So I get down to the end of the jetty. Somebody was fishing off the end. So I moved over to the side. I didn't want to fish too close to them and uh, started throwing some live shrimp. And I did notice while I was fishing there that a boat pulled up while that guy was fishing off the end pretty close. More on that in a little bit. Nice pompano. Nice pompano. All right. Pompano. Yeah, nice one. All right. Not what I was targeting, but heck, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, we got a nice pompano here on the live shrimp. Uh, clipped the tail off so he couldn't run from them, and uh, they came up and nailed it. So let's get him back in. And, and you'll see, the more fish I catch, the closer that boat keeps getting. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, good one. Ah. 
Oh, come on. Be the yeah, that shrimp. They're liking that shrimp. Stop. You just kind of jig it across the bottom? Yeah, just dragging it. Yeah. Stop. I have, a, I have like a, a uh, voodoo shrimp. Yeah, that might work. Might work better than a gotcha. Yeah. It don't seem like anything of these gotchas are getting the water. Where are... Well, this guy wasn't coming loose. There we go. Got him. All right, guys, got us another pompano here. Ooh, he's bleeding. We're going to let him go. I'm not keeping fish today. Are you keeping fish? All right. Let that guy go. These are all big pompano. Okay, so that boat that pulled up right in front of the guy at the end of the jetty is now cussing at him. They had already tangled lines with me once, and I just didn't say a word. I unhooked it and let them have their line back. So now they're angry that this guy's line crossed over one of theirs. And to be clear, the guy at the end of the jetty had a set rig out when they pulled right up on him and he was also throwing a lure. Right or wrong, I decided to step in when they started acting a little aggressive towards the elderly gentleman that was fishing on the end. That's not good etiquette, man. That's not good boat etiquette at all. He tried to justify his actions by telling me that we've got the whole other side of the jetty that we can fish. And then he said that there's enough fish in this area for all of us to catch. That's what everybody's doing, man. But he was the only one that was ripping on people. After I intervened, it kind of quieted down and they didn't say anything else. But they did keep moving closer and closer to where I was catching the fish right in the line of my casting. Look, look how close these guys are. And then he just cast right in front of me. So let me know, am I in the wrong here? Or is it the guys in the boats are being jerks? Because I really felt like they were being jerks, but I have been wrong before, so it could happen again. Let me know in the comments what you think. He wouldn't even be there if he hadn't seen me caught that first pompano. Well, I feel like karma took care of everything because they never landed a fish while they were there and I caught four right in front of them. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Did he come on? Oh, no, nope, there he is. All right. They want the shrimp moving. You let it sit there, they don't touch it. Yep. Uh. All of these are slabs, man. I wish I would have had these for the pump tournament last week. All right, guys. Another nice pump on the shrimp. Oop. Looks like uh, they want it moving. Let it sit on the bottom. They don't touch it. Come on, dude. And then I start dragging it, popping it. All right, I didn't want to do that, but. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, caught a mess of flounder, mess of pompano, Got to see uh, some boaters act like So uh, it was a good day, it's fun. So uh, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.